Maintenance man here at Mr. Dog Poop Studios. Two days ago, we did a video about replacing a Westinghouse generator with a cobalt generator. Started it up, it was running fine. But apparently, these new generators have CO2 sensors on them. Even though it's outside the building, it won't continue to run for more than 30 seconds. So, we got a new one. We're gonna see if we can disable the CO2 sensor and get this thing working. So we have two options. We can, we can cover up the carbon monoxide sensor so it can't get any carbon monoxide, or we can try to bypass it by connecting the wires together. So this is the carbon monoxide sensor, and these are little vents to let air in. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. There's three wires going in, only three wires. I don't know which ones to put together. There are two screws in here. Get the sticker off. So that is a Torx bit. These are the lights to show the sensor. I'm gonna go ahead and get a Torx and pull those off. All right, so these are not Torx. These are security screws. They have a little thing in the middle. I do not have anything to remove those. I feel like I just want to put this whole thing in a bag and just zip tie it. So I got a food vacuum sealing bag. I'm going to put on here zip tie around the wire. So I have a big zip tie I'm going to put around it just to keep it in the front, keep it out of place. Let's take it down to the box and see if it's going to work. We've got it, turn it on, and hopefully that should start up. <laughs> so the problem we had previously was it was getting detecting carbon monoxide inside the box. Even though we have vents, it's just too much carbon monoxide and it was shutting down. So we bagged it and it seems to be working. And as you can see, it is now pumping this water out of the rig. 